Hello, hello and welcome Welcome to today's video Today I want to share Kind of like a visual history of my life Not, not my entire a few days ago and I think it's good to do a video like this every now and then where I don't know where I get to show a little bit of my personality instead of just In the same sentence, I think that everybody has the capacity. I think everyone is an artist in their own way. Creativity is one of the great things about being human. As soon as I had access to pencil and paper, I started drawing, and I loved it so much. So I probably started when anybody would start, you know, uh, preschool or kindergarten maybe. And um, it was something I did all the time, and it brought me so much joy. I would draw just typical things that you would expect a little boy to draw. So, drew, um, like, comic book superheroes and big, strong, <laughs> big, strong-looking characters or monsters or, you know, that sort of stuff. And it was my favorite thing to do 
so much joy to do. And so throughout my childhood life, as I grew up and passing from grade to grade, other kids started to notice that I was good at drawing. And they would ask me to draw stuff for them. Stay. 
to evoke emotion, you know, art can make you feel all kinds of ways, and it is subject. just going through a lot and I, and I definitely had a lot of self-esteem issues and I needed a way to heal them. I needed a way to process them and work through them. And um, I forgot how it happened but I just got my hands on some colored sharpies and I remember seeing a lot of psychedelic art at the time and really liking it. And then I kind of just had a realization one day that there are no rules. There are no rules when it comes to creativity. I don't have to make something that is perfect by anyone's standards or perfect by my own standards. So it was kind of like I took the blinders off of myself and just realized that through creativity, I can do whatever I want, and I don't have to put limitations or rules on it. So once I allowed myself to think in a way where I knew that I could just create something and let it be whatever it would be, instead of having to be the best, you know, instead of thinking that I should only make art if I can become an artist and, you know, make a living off of it, because I can't. <laughs> I can't, I, at least I don't have the right mindset for that, and I don't have the right skill set for that. And I'm not fishing for compliments. Again, my art style is incredibly simple. The only thing that makes a finished product is the fact that I just take the time to sit down and do it. I make myself do it. And in the end, I get something that makes me really, really happy. Unfortunately, this one is extremely faded. It was definitely a lot more vibrant, but um, I think when I drew it, I probably just stuck it to my wall in my apartment with some painter's tape. Painter's tape. Probably somewhere where the sun was hitting it, so it definitely faded. I really like this one, even though it's faded, I do like 
like I said, what I see in my head is a lot more complex and beautiful than what I can actually get on the paper. <laughs> you know, it's the limitations of my skills versus the vastness of my imagination. But the natural world, I love, you know, I um, get inspired by flowers and trees, natural formations and the earth. And also crystals, like the way that an agate crystal is layered. So many beautiful colors and striations of slight color variation. Slight color variation. Now this is the next thing I drew. And uh, it's got a nice balance. The other thing I like to do with my drawings was to focus on duality. Duality through balance, you know. So, one, two, one, two. And before this faded, I'm assuming that the colors in here were opposing, you know, to kind of keep in the theme of the duality. And then these gradations of color. These are definitely inspired by crystals, like agate and others. And next we have this. This is probably next. I'm trying to display these kind of in the timeline that they were drawn. I'm pretty sure this came after the previous ones, but I'm not certain. Unfortunately, this is actually just a, like a color copy of the original, so it doesn't have the same texture, but it does have the original vibrance of color, which I'm glad I'm able to preserve by making copies of my drawings. Uh, yeah, when I, once I started to establish a art style that I like, I felt comfortable with, but that I also pushed myself to explore, to explore, you know, the different areas of that style. Once I found that style, I started to use my art as gifts. I was never trying to sell it. I was never trying to, um, you know, I didn't, again, I didn't, I wasn't doing this thinking that it would become anything more than a pastime that pleases me. But, 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 it did give me an opportunity to make things for friends and family members. And it's really nice to give people art as gifts because it's unique, you know, and people are always so happy to get it. This is another copy, almost 
almost everything I'm going to show is going to be a copy, so let's just assume that everything you see from here on out is a copy. Is a copy. This one I made for a friend who was leaving. This is back when I lived in Hawaii. I grew up in Hawaii, and I moved from there to the Pacific Northwest about seven, maybe eight years ago. But anyways, this one was when I was living in Hawaii, and a good friend was moving out of the state. Out of the state. So, I was already in the process of making this when I found out he was moving. And I wanted to give him a nice going away present. And I think he was pretty stoked on this. This is a fun... in black and white because I feel like there is so much colorful expression and energy inside of me but it doesn't show it doesn't show to the people that don't know me all of this you know it's kind of just for the people that 
there's also a copy that's a copy that I did halfway through so you know obviously I had the original outline and then I colored this and then made copies of this with the intention to color these parts in, in all kinds of different ways but It is kind of dark and sad. The 
this one I like because it is a, at the time it was a bit of a departure from the way that I would think of drawing. This one I made, I think, for a co-worker who was leaving a job I was at. And she was really awesome, so I just wanted to give her a piece of art because she had expressed interest in my art before and I thought it was a nice, you know, a nice gift to send her off with. Just a simple little bookmark. The only thing I don't like about the copies that I make, they lack texture, and they lack some of the depth of the uh, differences in the colors, but, but it more or less captures the original's um, vibrancy, so I'm happy enough with that. This is a little simple one, and it's probably a bit too small to get a good look at it, but uh, I don't know, something about it, it's kind of kind of whimsical, and I kind of just really love it. These two look like they would be copies of each other, but they're actually not. They are different widths. I just, I think I did this one first, and I really, really, really love the style. So, I tried to reproduce it. And I think, even though they're different widths, it looks kind of cool to set them end to end. Even though you can't really see it that good because of the glare from my lights. What about like this? Oh, well. Um, something like that. <laughs> now this one I'm really excited to share. This is probably my most favorite thing that I've ever made. Top three, at least. Now this one was after kind of taking a break from art, just being distracted, and I don't know, I take long breaks in between sometimes. This one I made shortly after meeting my wife. Obviously, she wasn't my wife when I met her, <laughs> but it was a process that was set in motion, you know, pretty much immediately. That's a whole other video talking about how something like that goes, but anyways. So we met during November, and her birthday is at the end of January, so we were only together for, you know, two months leading up to her birthday, but I already knew how I felt about her, and I could tell that she already knew how she felt about me. So, her upcoming birthday felt really important and special to me. And of course, I wanted to impress her. <laughs> Even though I think she was already impressed, I think she had already decided that we were going to get married. <laughs> Whether or not we were talking about it, I don't, you know, I don't even think we were saying I love you.
I don't know if they count as the leaves, but you know, the parts of their body. And I also really like how I kept some white. That's actually a big problem I have with my art, is that I just color everything and I don't leave room for any white. But I think the white is great. of myself, more of my personality. 